going to do a quick video on how to test the voltages on power supply. I think this one's called like an ATX style. I'm not totally for sure. I'm self-taught so I don't know the exact names on a lot of stuff. There's this one and then what I usually call a standard switching power supply which is just like a little tower with your inputs on the front of it. Alright so what you want to do is put your meter on DC volts which on mine is here and we don't need to go much higher than 20 so it'll be right there and have we get some power going to this guy here here kick on the fans kicking on so this plug is, will be the best option for me so you want to take your black lead and stick it on one of these black wires which is going to be your ground See, I want to make sure you can see the, the meter. These chairs are in my way. Okay, so first I'm going to test the red, which is 5 volts. I'll show you there. 5.16. It's a little high, but for that game, that's what it needs. And then check your yellow wire here, which is going to be your 12 volts. Sometimes it's orange, sometimes it's yellow. Sometimes orange is 24 volts. So this is 10.7. That's a little low, but it's fine. Everything's working on that game, so it doesn't have any issues. But if you do have, say your 5 volts is way too high or way too low, turn this off. Pull this free. Let's see, there's usually a pot in here. Okay, I don't see on this one. Usually there's a little teeny tiny potentiometer that you can turn it up or down. I wish I had, this one had one that was easy to see. I do not see one on here. But usually there's a, a spot in there. there oh, this one probably has a knob on the outside. No? Oh, there it is. Okay, so right here, you can turn that. Obviously, uh, counterclockwise will turn up the voltages, looks like. So that one's actually pretty easy compared to most of them. Most of them have a teeny tiny little potentiometer that you have to get a little screwdriver on. But that's how you test uh, your voltages on this style of power supply. And then next time I come across and pull out uh, the standard switcher, I'll show you how to do that one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. You can hit the subscribe button right here, or check out this video over on this side. Right.